Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty patty. I'm gossiping. This is the Rumor Report. I mean, I guess we on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Yes. Right. On The Breakfast Club. Now, on front page of the Daily News in New York City today, uh, there's a picture of rapper Chef G. Now, rapper Chef G. Who is Chef G? I'm going to tell you. Ra- rapper Chef G and Sleepy Hollow have been arrested yesterday. If you don't know them, you might know this song right here. I think it was the top uh, five record, actually. Are you nice? Are you nice? Heart cold like some water and some ice. I've never heard this record in my life. No? <laughs> no. It's like a top, top five record. Top five record where? In New York? Everywhere. I never heard this oh, record in my I life. I've never heard it. Never heard Sleepy Hollow. Tip, tip, toe. I heard a Sleepy Hollow. I've heard a Sleepy Hollow. Well, well, they were arrested yesterday, and we have the actual the, the report of why they were arrested. Prosecutors say those gang members shot at rivals in broad daylight and then bragged about it on social media. At the center of it all, two well-known rappers from Brooklyn, rappers Chef G and Sleepy Hollow accused of helping carry out violence against rival gang members in Flatbush and Crown Heights. Police say they are members of the Crips. The two rappers were among 32 alleged gang members charged today in a 140 count indictment. The DA saying the gang is linked to 12 shootings and one murder, which was caught on camera. You know what's sad? I've never heard of uh, Sleepy... I mean, Sleepy I, Hollow, I, Chef I, G I, and Sleepy Hollow? I never heard of Chef G. The only reason I heard of Sleepy Hollow is because... Uh, didn't he get released from prison earlier this year? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, and, and, what? Yes, and they asked me to do an interview with him when he got released from prison. I never had heard of him until he... That he, he, I was like, I don't even know who that is. Yeah, well, he's the, the, the kids uh, very love him a lot, and he has a, a bunch of huge records that are on stream. And I mean, I think that record streamed like 125 million, 200 million records. So, uh, but they they were arrested yesterday. 21 guns taken off the street in a huge uh, so the Rico. gang sweep. Yeah, they they've been hit with the Rico. Okay. But they did it they sell because they was on Instagram. They did. Didn't it say somebody went live? I, don't, I didn't see hear that part. I, by the way, well, by the way, I ain't heard that either. But it sounded about right. In this right. generation, yeah. yeah. What you read but, it again? I but, thought I heard something say. Well, they were charged with conspiracy to commit murder in the second degree and criminal possession of a weapon in the second degree. Play it again. If, if, uh, let's see if, if, if that's what was said. Instagram. Prosecutors say those gang members shot at rivals in broad daylight and then bragged about it on social media. Yeah. At the center of it all, two well-known rappers from Brooklyn, rappers this, Chef G. This, and okay. Retarded. Yeah. So yeah, they spoke about it on social media. I, I done told you I don't even like to talk about these brothers when they get in situations like that because I wasn't talking about them before. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know who they were. You know what I mean? That's why I was glad uh, J. Cole, you know, addressed that on that new record uh, all my life on, on the Lil Durk record. He said something similar to that. Like, you know, a lot of times these guys get killed or uh, they end up in prison and then we mention them. I, I, didn't, I wasn't talking about them before. Yeah. yeah. I'm a little on the front page, of, on, on the page of, uh, excuse me, front page of the paper. Now, John Morant released a statement yesterday he said, I know I've disappointed... This is a goon a- report today, this morning. I know <laughs> I've disappointed a lot of people who have had supported me. This is a journey, and I recognize there's more work to do. My words may not mean much right now, but I take full accountability for my actions. I'm committed to continuing to work on myself. You, you didn't disappoint me. You disappointed yourself. Right, right. You got a little girl. That's you right. know, you got your family. That, That's right. That just, you just, that's just crazy to me. Like you, throw, you throwing away money. You disappointing your generation of wealth. That's what you disappointing. You ain't disappointing us. Yeah, now Adam Silver, who is the NBA commissioner, he spoke about this yesterday on ESPN. This is what he said. We, we talked directly about the consequences first before we got to a subsequent potential to have done something wrong. We were very focused on the misconduct that was in front of us at the time. And frankly, most of our conversation was about how incredibly serious the first incident was of waving you know, a firearm on, you know, on social media. Again, you know, the, and the consequences there, an eight-game suspension was pretty serious and something that he, at least to me, seemed to take incredibly seriously. Honestly, I was shocked when I saw this weekend that video. Now, we're in the process of investigating it, and we'll figure out exactly what happened to the best we can then, but I'm assuming the worst. You know, what's crazy to me is uh, everyone who keeps making excuses for John Moran. Like, how are y'all okay with watching this brother just throw his life away. You know, all this money this brother is losing, all the potential, you know, trouble and danger he's putting himself in, and y'all are making excuses for it? Instead of just, you know, saying, hey man, hold yourself accountable, and let's really, really, really do better moving forward. 
you're not going to do he's not going to do better moving forward if there's not consequences and repercussions to his actions and if and he has to hold himself accountable in a real way because if you think the NBA not about to come down hard on him you out of your damn mind but you know what I was thinking about yesterday so you know he, he does have a right to own a gun right that, that is your 2A amendment right but as a basketball player as rich as John Moran is and as famous as he is would he really want to shoot somebody I don't know. But he want to really want to risk it all Do you remember, instead of just paying for security? But I, it's not even about just owning the gun. It, it is the string of incidents that John Morant has been involved right, in. It's right. not just these two times he's flashed guns on Instagram Live. And why are you just recklessly flashing guns? Do we not remember Plaxico Burris? Salute to Plaxico Burris, but that's a remember that situation? Well, he wasn't flashing the gun. He was he actually, just had it on him, and it, on went him. Off. And so, it went off. Yeah, but, in that club. You, you think something like that couldn't happen to... John Absolutely. Right, <laughs> so right, what are we right. talking about here? Absolutely. Even though he just got the gun, you you already just thinking the worst. You know, perception is reality mm-hmm. yeah. at, at times. You know, so I just don't. I just don't get it. Maybe y'all need to invite him up here to the show because you know y'all have this platform and men seem to open up a lot. You said you said you said ain't no women calling up. Ain't here. no women called up here today. <laughs> None at all. I have not heard one woman vent today, and I know we be going through a lot. Oh. These men, this man just called his baby mama don't left him. I'm like, dang, bro, the other guy want to be a rapper. He like, man, play oh, my man. music, bro. Like, what is going on? Off oh, air, Erica said, man, these men, this is a safe space for y'all because yeah. you, you and Charlamagne be showing y'all other side. Yeah, y'all show <laughs> y'all other side. What's you the know? other What's side? The other side? You, you know, like today you picked up my purse and stuff with one finger. <laughs> <laughs> no, who did that, Erica? Wasn't uh, me. Envy, Envy right. had did that. I was passing it to you. No, no, you had, you had passed me. You had walked all the way up here. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting right there. He was walking around. With, yeah, it with, one, with finger. one finger. He like he was loving it. <laughs> I hate y'all. I hate y'all. I hate y'all. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. When we come back, we got front page news. Tesla and Figaro will be joining us, and then DJ Cassidy will be in the building. So don't move. It's the Breakfast Club, of course, on BET. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.